Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I want to talk to you about a Samsung setting that you should probably consider disabling on your phone. Now I didn't even know that this was enabled on my phone, I just happened to be playing in my settings and I stumbled upon it and realized that it was on. And I didn't do any backups to my phone from my previous phones, I set this phone up directly from factory settings, I made this phone completely fresh without copying any data from any of my old phones and this setting was on for me so it might be on for you as well. And this setting is called RAM Plus. Now to find it, if you go into your phone's settings, go to battery and device care, then tap on memory, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this option here that says RAM Plus. Now mine was enabled and set to eight gigabytes. And if it's on for you as well, then you should probably consider turning this off. And I'm gonna tell you why and also talk about what this feature is and who it's made for. Because while it may look like a great feature on the surface, it can be detrimental to your phone. So let's talk about what is RAM Plus. Well, you can see right here, it says RAM Plus uses your phone's storage space to provide virtual memory. So essentially your phone creates more memory by using your phone's storage space. And on the Samsung website, it says, RAM Plus is a feature on your Galaxy phone that provides intelligent memory expansion by using your storage as virtual memory. With more memory, you can have more apps open in the background and launch apps faster. Now again, on the surface, this sounds amazing. Who wouldn't want more RAM? But the thing is, what they don't mention is that virtual RAM is slower than the real physical RAM on your phone, okay? You can't replace RAM with anything but more RAM. Virtual RAM is not real physical RAM. Now, yes, of course, it does have those benefits. Your phone can breathe a little bit easier. You can run more applications, switch between applications, have them open longer in the background. But because your storage is slower than your RAM, having a large space dedicated to virtual RAM might not be a good thing because if you keep offloading processes onto your virtual RAM or swap, it can slow down your phone. Because again, virtual RAM uses your phone's storage and your storage is not as fast as your actual physical RAM. And additionally, your storage has a limited lifespan. Yes, it will last for years and years to come, but having more virtual space dedicated to it for swap space can be bad if you're frequently writing to it and can cause wear and tear and shorten its lifespan. And one thing that should be noted is that your phone will not even use virtual memory until your physical RAM is at its threshold. Once this gets somewhere up here to the limit, only then will it start using virtual RAM. But if you have the S23 Ultra or even the regular S23s, you have a lot of RAM on these phones. Like the S23 Ultra has 12 gigabytes of RAM. That is a lot of RAM. You are probably never going to exhaust that. And with the S23 and S23 Plus, you have eight gigabytes of RAM. That's also a lot of RAM. So there really is no point of having RAM Plus enabled because you're never going to stress your phone to the point that applications are shutting down or things are starting to bog down and your phone needs to have that extra virtual RAM. And from what I've read, there does seem to be some battery implications. I don't know how bad they are, but if you do have RAM Plus enabled, it can affect your battery life. So I would just go ahead and disable it if you have eight gigabytes or more RAM on your phone. Or if you're not sure about the usage of your phone, you can come in here and check your memory and see how much memory you're using on the daily. You can see all the apps that are running back here. And my phone is allocating a certain amount of RAM for all of these applications to run smoothly. So now let's talk about maybe who can benefit from this RAM Plus feature. Well, I would say that if your phone has maybe six gigabytes or less, or if you come into your memory settings here and you see that you're constantly up in the higher thresholds of your physical memory, then you can probably go ahead and enable virtual RAM. And that way you have access to more RAM to keep applications running smoothly. And if you're somebody who does a lot of multitasking and you rely on a lot of apps and processes running simultaneously in the background, or you do a lot of split screen multitasking kind of activities, then virtual RAM will probably be very beneficial to you. But if you don't need a lot of apps running in the background and you don't multitask a lot and you would rather have better performance, then you definitely do not need to enable RAM Plus. Because remember, if your phone is using virtual RAM, it's going to be slower because the storage on your phone is not as fast as the physical RAM. So if you're constantly offloading apps onto your storage on your phone, your phone is actually going to be slower. And again, you're creating wear and tear on your SSD and that could shorten its lifespan. And if some of you guys have some mid-range phones or maybe older phones that are a few years old and your RAM 
is maybe six gigabytes or less and you're finding that your phone is starting to act slow, I'm actually going to give you a secret alternative to fix that instead of having to consistently stress your phone by peaking your physical RAM and writing to your storage all the time and wearing down your SSD. Now this setting is called background process limit and to access it, what you need to do is go back to your settings homepage and go to developer options. If you do not have developer options here, go to about phone, tap software information, and then tap your build number seven times. It will ask you for your pin and your developer mode will be activated. So go back to your settings page and then you'll see it down here at the bottom. Tap into here, tap on the search icon up here and type process limit. There you go, it's called the background process limit. Tap on that and your phone will take you to that setting. So here it is down here. Tap on this and you can see that you have a few different options here. Now the background process limit determines how many background processes your phone will keep open. By default, it's set to standard, which is around 20 processes. But again, if you have an older phone and you don't have that much RAM or you feel that your phone is starting to slow down or you're constantly peaking your RAM, what you can do is set this to at most one, two, three, or four. I would suggest you go to four. Four is a pretty good number. And this will keep only four background processes running at any time on your phone. And remember, your phone allocates a certain amount of physical RAM to every process. So if you don't have a lot of RAM and you have a whole bunch of apps running in the background, your phone is stressing its memory and that's why your phone might be feeling slow and sluggish. So if you don't really care about multitasking and having lots and lots of apps running in the background and you care more about performance and speed, this is definitely a great option for you. But if you're somebody who needs multitasking and lots of apps running in the background, then you should probably go ahead and enable virtual memory. If you have a phone like the S23, S23 Plus or S23 Ultra, we have so much RAM in these phones that there's really no point for us to have background, um, RAM Plus enabled. So I was definitely pretty surprised to find that when I was going through these settings, my phone had RAM Plus enabled by default. So if this is the case for you as well, you should probably disable it as well and just save yourself from any possible battery implications that this might have or any chance of stressing your SSD by peaking this and writing to your phone's storage. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.